Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can crawl websites, extract information, save them in Postgres, and use an Olama model, all fully local, using Docker with any den workflows. And if you aren't familiar with Olama, this is, in my opinion, one of the easiest and best ways to download and use local AI models for your workflows. And if you're not familiar, familiar with crawl for AI, this is a very popular web scraper. It's already at 57.2 K stars on their GitHub page. And this is all local. You don't have to have any API keys. You don't have to do anything else. I'm going to show you how to do this with doc. And of course we'll be using Postgres to store everything. Okay. So to get all of this working, the first thing you need to do is you need to download Docker web, uh, doc, Docker desktop for your machine. So you just choose, uh, choose one of these selections based on what you have. Okay. And I will have all this available for you. There's, it's not much here and this will all be available for you on my GitHub. I'll give you the link. And you're basically just going to copy this on your local machine. But what you really need is you need the Docker compose YAML file. What it's going to do is it's going to allow us to get a Postgres image, get the latest N8N N image, which as you can see by the UI, it was the newest version 2.0. And then all this information, all these environment variables are like, this is all for Postgres, so like the password, the host and everything. And I'll show you how to set that up in the workflow. And then we come down here, this is for Olama. And then this is the image for crawl for AI. Okay, so we can, you, you don't have to worry about this too much. Um, this is all be taken care of for you. I'm just gonna show you how once you take this and once you have this on your local, uh, your IDE or whatever you're using, then there's a couple commands you run to get it started. Okay. So I am in the folder, my local Postgres call for AI Olama folder. This is where, this is what you will see. And so all you'll need to do is type in Docker compose up dash dash build dash D and I will have this command for you. Build is going to you know, bring everything up, all the containers that we need. And then dash D means detached. I mean, we can still use this terminal. Of course, you don't have to have that if you don't want to. I just, I just like doing that. So what it's gonna do is once you run this, it's going to create and start all the containers that we need to get this running. Okay, Postgres will typically be the one that takes the longest. Okay, it's done. So now what we can do is we can open up our Docker desktop, go to the dashboard. And what you can see here is I have the anything local Postgres crawl, crawl for AI o llama uh, running. So if I go to anything crawl for AI, okay, this is now, this is what's actually our anything workflow. So you can see the editor is now accessible. I can just copy this or I can just click on it. It's coming here and you can see now it, it, this is, I've already, you know, started, uh, started doing some things with this for, for this, for this video, but you will have to sign in, do all the stuff. It just takes, just takes me less than a minute. Okay, so now to get the workflow that I have that you saw in the beginning, go to create a new workflow. Okay, and then you're going to have the JSON file. So you're going to import from file. Then we're gonna, you're gonna import the crawl website and analyze with Olama JSON, okay? So what you're gonna see here is I also have an open, I also have this open AI analyze content one. The reason for that is because I, on my machine, cannot run local AI models while recording, it just won't work. And it'll take so long and I, it just it just doesn't work for me. So I have all this set up to use Olama, but for my purpose of just explaining this, I am going to be using OpenAI just so I can actually get this done. So the first thing is this query right here, this actually just, just creates the tables, creates a table and indexes everything. So, you know, for Postgres, um, but this is just everything to save all of your summaries with. So whenever you run this, you could run that separately if you wanted to, it doesn't matter, or you can just execute the workflow and it'll create it if it doesn't exist already. It's not gonna recreate it every time. Then what we have is we have the crawl for AI, crawl for AI get markdown. Now, if you wanna know more about this, you know, there's a huge, like, crawl for AI has expanded since I last did this, right? That it, it has done so much more. I don't even remember, it might not even been at 10,000 stars whenever I first, um, when I first got into this. Might only have been a few thousand whenever I did an example on it. Um, so you can come in here, you can learn a lot more if you want to, or you can ask Claude Code to search this or ChatGPT or whatever you like to use to search this and then give you some more information about how you can use this within your workflows. But then we need Olama analysis. Now in order, 
to actually do an analysis with the llama, we need to have a model. So whenever you go to olama.com and then go to models at the top left, you can choose any of these models that you want, right? You could even use Olama Cloud, which I did a video on that I will have a link for as well. But you can basically choose one of these and let's do, let's say we do Quen 3, this is a vision language model. You can choose which one of these your machine can handle, right? The, the, problem with local AI models is that your machine has to handle it. So if we go ahead and copy, let's say we do Quen3 uh, vision language model 2 billion parameters. We could probably do this a couple of ways, but I just think the easiest way is if you go back to your terminal and you say docker exec execute for the olama image, run this command olama pull the Quen th the model that I just had copied, the Quen3 2 billion, 2 billion parameter model. So now if I, ex if I run this, okay, it's gonna pull this. You know, I actually haven't downloaded this yet. I do have the 4 billion parameter model and also the DeepSeek uh, 1.5 billion, billion parameter model. So this is just gonna take a minute, but it's gonna actually pull this on, um, on, your, on your container so that you can then use that with inside of the workflow. And once it's done, you should see success, right? If you see failure, then you um, will probably need to retry it. This means now if you were to open up the Olama analysis, what's happening is it's using the it's it's using the server that you have on your like the container, the server that you have, it's asking to generate to do something. And then if we like expand this, right, I the model I want to use, let's say I want to use the one I just downloaded, right? So I can just copy that and paste that right here. And then this is the previous, this would be the previous um, node where I'll show you in a minute and it would basically take that information and I want you to get provide a brief summary with seven key points on the crawled website right that's basically what this is saying but you just want to make sure that you have the model you have that in right here. and then of course in order to create the table with Postgres or actually insert information into Postgres Postgres we need to set that up as well so let's go ahead and do that as the next step so let's say we open up table creation right you need to create a Postgres account so how we do this is you go to create new credential, right? So we need localhost, database, user, and the password. Where is all this located? Well, we can get the user, the password, and the database, and the port, we actually need that as well. We can get that all in the .env.example or your .env file, so that you would have like whatever you wanna change that to. But then to get the host, if you open up Docker Compose YAML file, okay, if we scroll down a little bit here to the N8N, uh, N8N information, and we see uh, the the Postgres database host, the host is Postgres, okay? So that means if I say the host is Postgres, the database, is uh, the port is 5432. Okay, I think that's there by default, okay? And then we need the environment variable for database user and password. So if we go back to example, so we say n8n is the user and password, or user and database, so the user and the database, and then it was n8n underscore password, for, for the password. Okay, no, not, not very not very good, right? So it's testing and that was connection was successful. Perfect. So now that means that I can use that I can use that connection to do anything we want with Postgres. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this now. And what's happening is it would either create it if it doesn't exist, the table, or it will just not do anything, but it'll still say success success either way. So crawl for AI, it already crawled the website that we wanted. And by the way, in edit fields here, I had it do two field, I had to do two different websites. Let me actually open this up. I think I forgot to mention this. So I had Y Combinator and then crawl for crawl for ai.com. So you need to have a list of URLs and just put them in just in this format. Okay. So when it, it did that, I split them out and then it's going to clean up that markdown with just some simple code. And then for each of those, we're going to analyze each of the markdown from those, uh, from those websites. And then we're going to output and insert them into Postgres. So if we come in here, what this looks like is we have, here's the brief summary and all in the key points, right? So this is from, this is from, I believe the Watt Y Combinator and this is from crawl for AI. Okay, that's awesome. So now it was able to do that very quickly. Of course, again, I have to use OpenAI, but you would just be using Olama if your computer can handle it. And then of course, this is it in, this is it putting it into, um, putting it into the correct, in, into Postgres with the, uh, with the correct, you know, columns and everything. Okay. So the ID, that's just 
auto incremented. Then we have the brief column and the key points column in the source URL, and then we created when it was created and updated. All right. So now let's just verify that this worked properly. I'm going to right click here, add a new node, type in Postgres, and I want to select rows from a table. So I want to public is fine from the table. I'm going to say crawl summary and let's just return all. Yeah, let's just return all. Okay. Or this go right over here. So let me put this here. This is kind of a crazy way to do this. But now if I were to execute this workflow, okay, there are a total of 10 items. Now, if we were to get the come all the way down to the last ones, right? Number 10, that was crawl for AI. And then we saw number nine. This was the one for Y Combinator. These were the two that we just did not even maybe, maybe a minute or two ago. Okay. So we know that this works and it's properly saving. Okay, so great. Now we've able to connect Postgres, Olama for local AI models, crawl for AI for actually researching online into a the newest version of any den, all inside Docker and running everything 100% local, 100% free. Now, of course, I know for my example, I used OpenAI, but that's just so I could actually record it with the machine that I have to actually put out this video, right? Or else I would not be able to do that. And uh, so I want you to be able to take this, you know, Again, all this will be in my free school community. You'll be able to go there. And also, if you have any questions, please reach out. Others will be there to help you as well. So everything will be in the link in the description below. If you have any questions or I seem to miss something that you don't seem to understand, please let me know in the comments as well. All right, here's some more videos for you to watch. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.